Hello everybody, this is Michael O'Grady again and we're at episode 9 now of the Artist Theatre Tutorials. Last time was episode 8 and we were looking at articles. Uh, here's the articles if you remember that. Sidebar then. Sidebar are the menu items, the categories, bookmarks, searches and, and the rest. Um, so we can, in previous versions we saw that we can change this to no columns, one or two columns. Um, columns left, columns right, etc. Um, so, you know, just by hovering over these without actually activating them, we can see in real time what it looks like. So we've got the, the sidebar general styling section. Um, here we've got block ideas where we just click and get random versions. In terms of block styles, we can look at whether we're square or circular, or radii corners and the size of corners, block spacing, uh, padding etc. So that's the overall style and then the content we can look at the fonts, colours, um, visited links and things like that. So let's have a look then uh, going from left to right. We can have styling or no styling so we need styled sheets to or styled sidebars to be able to start styling them. And we can fill the, the block of the style bar with different colours. Here we're sort of a mid grey. We can go to a brown if we like. And we've got uh, the ability to put a transparency over there. This is rather transparent at the minute. If we go to less transparent, we get more of the color. So let's go back to 80%. And we can apply, as we did the background, we can apply glares, uh, shapes over the top of these. We can pick from uh, a variety of uh, patterns we've already seen. Um, and we can also go down to import uh, our own files. So we can make our own PNGs um, in Fireworks or Illustrator uh, and sort that out. And if we look at the options, um, we, we can generally control the transparency and color of, um, of various elements. So as we go through this, the, the options to uh, use the, the blend mode, we've only got three, um, the scale of the picture, the orientation of it, etc. We can control all of those. So if we go to suggest blocks, we just get random versions of what we want. I, I won't go there because it will totally change. Uh, in terms of the layout, uh, here we've got a coloured header with rounded top corners. Um, and you can see all these options. We've got various uh, blocking, coloration, curvature, etc. And just by hovering over, we get an idea of what we, we would achieve. So the bottom three are without header. Here we're getting um, no coloured bar for the text um, and coloured bar for the, the content. So in terms of the styling then, we can control the radii of all these corners. Anything that's rounded basically in here uh, gets controlled by this other than the buttons. So these corners here, so let's put that at six. Okay. Um, let's have a look at block spacing. So this is the gap between the various blocks in our menu system. So it's currently set at 10. If we hover over three, you can see the blocks come closer together and there's, uh, they basically take more space as there's less gaps around them. Okay, so we'll put that back. Uh, let's have a look at uh, background. We've got uh, inner padding here, um, the gap between our overall sidebar and our blocks inside. If we hover over one or 15, we uh, the, this changes for us. Okay, so this is inside our uh, sidebar now. So we'll just cancel out of that and go to the fill color. It's currently a, a mid gray. So we can choose our color through the hue saturation, red, green, blue, or the hex, or we can just use the uh, the sliders to get different uh, color hue or colors or hues. And here we just alter the uh, the shading of a particular color. Okay, so that's quite a, a nice touch. So we'll just cancel out of that. 
in the, head, oh, the background again, we've got uh, border uh, widths. It's currently set at one. If we hover over five, you can see that increases. Uh, it's a light gray at the moment. There it is. So we'll go back to one. Um, and back to background, let's look at transparency. There's no transparency over this area. So if we have a texture, we can change the transparency of it and see the texture through it. So let's just have a look at um, getting some textures. Let's just choose uh, that one, a sort of a small grid pattern. And then back to our background and uh, we'll put a gradient on. We've got a few here. Let's go with uh, this middle one. It's darker on the, the left. You can just see that over there on the left. Um, and shadow, we've got glow and shadow here. We can apply uh, shadows and change the angles, uh, change the intensity of our shadows. Okay, so it's quite a big, quite a big shadow there. Um, and then we can go to glows and we can change the properties of that. So let's go with a glow. We can change the properties of those later. Let's have a look at the, the specific properties um, here, shadows. We can change the opacity distance and the, the angle of the, the virtual sun. We can change the size of it. Let's OK that and get our glow. And then with our headers, we could change the color, the font family, the size, the, the bold italics, whatever. Now let's go with the blue. It's not going to be very nice. It's quite uh, bright and contrasty. Well, the contrast is low, not easy to see. So let's go with um, more of a brown. We can also put icons in front of our headers. So we we'll just hover the, over this flower, uh, not necessarily appropriate to our site. So let's just have a downward, down to the right arrow. Um, so we can't get to see um, the other content in there at the moment. Let's just have a look at the content. The text padding, this is the text inside. Uh, if we go to 15 pixels, this re reduces the space for the content because we've got more padding. Um, if we go to fill, we can change the fill color. It's currently uh, a light gray. We can go lighter if we want. Okay. And we can also uh, change the border. It's a very thin border at the moment, one pixel. Let's go to five. Okay, so we've got uh, a darker gray. Go back to one and transparency, texture gradient. Uh, at the minute, we're not seeing the gradient, uh, those checkerboard through, but if we alter the transparency, we can do. Let's just stick at 40%. And so we've got a color, but we're showing pattern through as well. Um, texture, we can put our own texture over the top um, and we'd have transparency through to the checkerboard underneath. Okay, so let's just see what happens when we get some lines. Quite difficult to see that, so you need to be careful with this one. You know, are you wasting computer processor time? Uh, difficult to see. And gradient again, we can put um, a left to right gradient on there, we'll go with that. And so we've got a gradient on our inner block content. Difficult to see that with the transparency um, through to the background, but uh, it's all available to you. So in terms of the block content, the text itself, you've got um, the ability to come in on margins and out. We'll see shortly, we can control those uh, with actual numbers from a, a, a panel, control panel. So this is the text uh, here that we're talking about. We can control line spacing. Um, we go to more options as well, where we see our uh, font families, understrike, overline, default, regular size, all of these. And also the character spacing, whether we're going to go um, expanded or condensed, and then by how many pixels. Okay, so we're expanding by three or four pixels. And if we then condense by uh, three or four, two, one pixels. We can see below what the text is going to look like. And here we've got our uh, indentation, our tabbing on first lines, um, spacing before and after paragraphs, 
uh, and the word spacing, line spacing. And we get down here the ability to see, <coughs> excuse me, what that looks like. Okay, so this is all controlling our text inside the, um, the sidebar panels. Okay, and that's that's more or less it. Okay, so we're controlling the content in here. Um, when we go into our um, into WordPress, of course, we can uh, control what actual sidebars we have, all these search archives and categories, etc. And of course, at any time we can change whether we've got two or one um, column. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll be looking at um, vertical menus in 10.